Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. Let's just buy on back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures, you know, pretty much going into this is only for Israel, man. You see, salvation is only for Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Those of us that have been downtrodden, raped, robbed, and murdered for centuries, okay? And the only ones that fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, like a glove. No other nation fits those, fits those curses, man, okay? So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and I just wanted to get into a few scriptures, make a quick lesson going into this. There's many, many scriptures on it, you know, but again, you know, uh, that 501c3 wacky tacky Christianity has created a uh, doctrine uh, which, which, which tries to include all nations, you know, where that's not, that's not scriptural. That's not scriptural. There's, there's separations all through the scriptures when it comes to Israel and the other nations. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, I'm going to prove that. So the first scripture I want to get into is the book of the book of Psalms, chapter one forty seven. In verse 19, and it reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You see the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And when did he show his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgment unto Israel? Let's go back to the humble beginnings. Let's go to Deuteronomy. When he was dealing with Moses, right? The mediator at the time, right? Which a lot of you, you wacky tacky first, uh, Salakio, you wacky tacky Old Testament only Israelites fail to understand that Yahweh deals with a mediator. You cannot directly deal with the Heavenly Father, okay? He's always dealt with mediators, man. Always. You see? But that's the, another lesson for another time. But the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 1, then jump down to like 5 or 6 to make the point, right? And it reads, Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 1, and it reads, Now therefore, hearken, O Israel, okay, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you. All right, and this is Moses speaking, the mediator at the time, okay? For to do them. That ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord power of your fathers giveth you. Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Okay? This is exclusively speaking to Israel. All right? Who were given the statutes and judgments. You see? Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Separation. Complete separation. This is exclusively... Uh, referring to Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is not an all eighteen. This is not an all uh, all nation included uh, 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 inheritance, man. All right, this this is strictly for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Those of us that have been downtrodden, raped, robbed, and murdered for centuries, man. 
because of because of our our, our our transgressions of our forefathers, man. Which we are our forefathers if you can receive it. Okay, and we paid the price. You know, we caught the tail end of the stick. Because why? We went against the law, statutes, and commandments that were only given to us. All right, let's continue on. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. You see? Which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. You see, because at the end of the day, when when Esau's moved out the way, all right, and, and, and Jacob, all right, a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, where Yahweh Shai leading the charge is in a position of power, when this world is being ruled by the measure of the scriptures, it's going to be a paradise on earth, man. And it's going to come a time where these nations are going to realize that this was the way it should have been from gate. <laughs> this is the way it should have been from gate. That's why Romans, the eighth chapter, goes, in how, goes into how the creation, um, the creation, um, let me just grab it real quick. Let me grab that real quick and I, we'll go back to Psalms. Because I don't want to butcher that in Romans. Romans. I know it's in Romans 8. And I'm going through the Spirit. You know, wherever the Spirit wants me to go, I'm going. Let me get Romans, let me see here. Just to make that point. I don't want to butcher that. Romans 8. Uh, bear with me. Yep, Romans 8. And um, I'll go straight to the point. Verse 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature... Waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. You see a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because if you look, right, all creation is, is, is suffering with this devil being in rulership, with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man being in rulership. The earth is languishing and passing away. The people are languishing. You see? You know, there's disease, pestilence all over the place, man. You're eating GMOs. You're inhaling chemicals. You know, you're drinking... You're drinking water out of a plastic bottle. You see? Animals are going extinct at a rapid rate. There's nothing but evil on the earth, man. No, no order. The woman's over the man. We can go on and on and on and on and on. But the point is, um, Romans 8 and 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature, right, of the creations, waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. And we're in the beginning stages of that right now. This is why we're able to get this truth and receive it. You see? This is why we're able to stand on our ten toes and, 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 and tell our oppressor his judgment, man. And there's nothing he can do about it. Right? Continuing on in the book of Psalms, um, chapter 147, and verse... I'm going to read verse 19 again and continue on. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And we prove that in Deuteronomy the fourth chapter. Verse 20, he hath not dealt so with any nation. Separation. This is only for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And as for his judgments... They have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. You see? <laughs> you see that? And the reason, the only reason why you devils are over us, you heathen, is because we went off. It's the only reason why. You see? It's the only reason why. But we're coming into a time where Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is showing us favor once more. And now he's allowing us to receive this truth through the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Dash, that has been sent down from heaven. And guess what? We've been quickened. We've been made alive through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You see? And this is a heavy part of biblical prophecy because when this happens, that means your kingdom is going to be on the decline at that point. You see? <laughs> Let's continue on. Let's get the book of Baruch. 
All right, the second chapter, and the, I'll start at the 27th verse, and it reads, O Lord, our power, okay, thou has dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all that great mercy of thine, right? Because if you look into the history of, 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 of Israel, man, and we went off many times, you know, many, many times Israel was going off. You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai showed us favor, even into this, even in this latter day. You know? And, and that hey, that's mercy. You know, because without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're through. The only reason why we were created as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans was to serve our power. He's our power and we're his people. You see? We have power in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We no one hey the book if you read the book of Judith, the fifth chapter, it goes into it. And we're without, if we're without, if we're without um, iniquity. If we're, if, we're, if we're obedient to our power, nobody, nothing can deal with us. You see, if we have the power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on our side through obedience. Nothing can, nothing can stop us, man. You see, we'll take over the world literally, which is going to happen through the return of our of our power, Yahweh Shai, upon his return, upon him cracking these clouds. It's over with with Esau. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And it's going to begin at that point. Verse 28 in the book of Baruch chapter 2 and verse 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, Surely this great multitude, this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. See, so we were scattered. That was also part of the curses to be scattered throughout all four corners of the earth and to lose our heritage, man, which has happened. You know, but it was it's also written that in this latter day. We'll remember ourselves as we're going to read as we continue on. All right. Verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Right. And, and unfortunately, we didn't hear them. We went against the law, statutes, and commandments. We went against the grain. All right. And we ended up being brought very low. We fell so far from grace. You see, and you can see it in Jake. You see Jake walking around, man. Jake is through. Pants off his ass. You know what I mean? Stupid look on his face. Destitute of wisdom. You know? <laughs> Skinny jeans, glittering belt, man purse, you know, carrying a carrying a gun on him, through destitute of understanding. You know, calling himself black and African American, calling yourself Puerto Rican, Dominican, you know, you're killing your brother, you know, you're quick to do violence to your brother, but when it comes to Esau Edom, the so-called white man, you scared of him. You know? You so-called thugs, you know, you you so-called gangsters. You know, it's because the whole head is sick, man. You know, it's just the suffering from the curses, right? But but check this out, continuing on. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And this is exactly what's happening all over the earth where we are scattered. This is why you're seeing camps erect all over the earth, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, okay? And like-minded men pushing the same gospel, this gospel, the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, okay? This is, this, is, this is happening, you know? Where we were not called the children of, you know, let me grab that real quick in Hosea. We'll come back, we'll come back to this Baruch, Lord willing. Bear with me. Yeah, let's grab this Hosea. What is it? One and ten? Yep. The book of Hosea chapter one and verse ten and it reads, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, right? Because we again we were scattered throughout all four corners of the earth, mingling with mingling in with the other nations. This is why we got speckled birds. You know, you got you got those uh of Israel that look like the other nations, 
okay? But their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? Because you stem from your father's seed. And that can be proven if you read the book of Numbers. I was that the first chapter, and I believe it's the 18th verse. You could That could be proven. You see? You, the, the dad had carries the seed, man. You are what your father is. You see? Contrary to popular belief in this wicked queendom that we live in. Okay? Continuing on, right? In the book of Hosea, chapter 1, and verse 10. I'm going to start from the top. Yet the number of the children of Israel should be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, right? In the place where we were called niggers, Negroes, African American, Black, Dominican, Native American, Puerto Rican, Cuban, Haitian, Jamaican, right? Mexican. There it should be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is happening right now as we speak. <laughs> you see? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's word would not go out void. Let's continue on in the book of Baruch, uh, chapter uh, 2 and verse. I'll read verse 30 again and continue on. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And this is happening right as we speak. And shall know that I am the Lord, their power. <laughs> right? We got the true name of our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We got the true name, which brings power. This is why this, this place is crumbling. You see, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone have been speaking these things through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for decades now. And it's coming to pass now. Okay? Now it's coming to pass. Though it tarry, wait for it. You see that vision? The vision is for an appointed time. And now it's starting to speak and it's not lying. Right? Continuing on. For I give them a heart. So like here. And, for I give them a heart and ears to hear, right? Blessed are your eyes that they can see and your ears that they can hear. That's understanding. You see? We've been endowed with the Holy Spirit. This is why we understand these things. We can see it. You know? Those of us that have been predestined. Those that have been, those of us that have been called. You see? Lord willing, we're chosen. Because the scripture says many are called, but few are chosen. This is why we are to put on as the elect. To make our calling, we have to put on diligence to make our calling and election sure. It's the only way. We're jockeying for position, man. We got to push, Akiyam. Right? Continuing on. For I give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. This is what's happening. We're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the land of our captivity and we're thinking upon his name. Meditating upon his name day and night. Every, every one of us that got, every one of us, I can speak on behalf of every one of us. When we heard that name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, that was the spot. That was the spot. That's what? You see? That was that spiritual CPR. <laughs> That was that spiritual CPI that, 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 that we were sleeper cells, you see, prior to that. But once we heard that, it took that one, that, that name, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And that sealed the deal. That brought the spirit back to life. That, that made us alive, which that's the, that's the word quicken. That's what that word means, to be made alive. All right, continuing on. The 33rd verse in uh, Baruch 2, 33. And return from their stiff neck. And from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers. Which sinned before the Lord. And this is what we've done. We've repented. Which means to turn back. We've turned back from our iniquity. We repent every day. We pray. You know without ceasing. You know we, we, we constantly do the best we can. 
to, to, to please our power. We rehearse the righteous acts in the land of drawing waters. Okay, wherever we may be scattered. You know, we try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we try to keep up with the high holy days. You know, we do the best we can in our captivity. That Everyone's not doing that. You know, all of us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are not doing that. Only those of the hopeful elect are doing that. Point blank, period. Uh, let's see. Verse 34. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. This is all. See, the scriptures, are, it's all about, it's all about power, man. This is about rulership. This is what this is truly about, man. For allowing us to be able to dwell in his course and understand these things. Continuing on. I'm going to read that again from the top. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them. And they shall not be diminished. Right? Whew. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power. And they shall be my people. Some separation complete. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Complete separation. You know, so, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I just wanted to bring that out. You know, you know, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. You know, this is only for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and speckled birds that may look like the other nations. But their, their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And your spirit resonates with this truth. And you return back to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And complete obedience. All right, this would this would prove that you are a child of the highest power conceivable and the only begotten Son. But that's the point, you know. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh 